Hola amigos, soy Jane y esto es Fincarte. Hi friends, I'm Jane and this is Fincarte. Welcome. I won a prize. It was a prize draw, so there was no skill involved. But, I am delighted all the same. I want a bottle of olive oil. And a surprise has come in the packet. <laughs> Thank you. The olive oil comes from the Freedom Farm, which is in Aragon, in Spain. As it says on the website here, um, Spanish Homestead and Permacu Permaculture Collective. It has come without any labels or any fancy bottle or anything because these guys are just starting out. Now, they've been working at the farm for quite some time to bring what was an abandoned olive grove back into full production. And this is some of their first olive oil. I'm going to try it. Oh my. quite delicate. I can't wait. Oh, that is. That is a beautiful, subtle oil. You can use it for everything, but I am going to keep that for tonight because Saturday night is film night here at Fincarte and uh, we usually have tapas before we watch whatever film and this is going to have a starring role. Actually, Steve has just said that it would make great mayonnaise. That might be something to try. And of course, it's organic. It was the Romans who were responsible for introducing most of the olives to Spain. Previous to the Romans coming here, Spain did not look like this. And they had this ritual which was conducted every year where the owner of the land, the master and the mistress, would go out into the grounds and make love while lying on the ground. And this would ensure the fertility of the land. Steve! Yeah. 
No, it's all right. It's not spring. <laughs> I think it was more ritual than actual, but who knows with these crazy Romans. I was expecting something a, a little less sophisticated, especially as I read that the trees have been neglected for about 50 years. You don't think of gnarly old trees like that producing such delicate flavours. I very rarely endorse a product because, well, it has to be it has to tick a number of boxes before I fully endorse something. And um, I think this is one of those occasions. Their oil is made from an olive that's actually quite different from ours. They're not quite... Well, in fact, they're nowhere near ripe yet. Um, but... I understood from reading that the taste and the flavor and the characteristics of the olive oil are very much dependent upon the time that you take them for pressing. So ours ripen any time from October onwards. Now, if we were to take them in October or November, and press them, we would get a different tasting olive oil than the ones that are done in January or the December. So I asked the guys at Freedom Farm. Oh, hello. Yeah. So I asked the guys at Freedom Farm when they pressed these olives and they were done in November. And I thought, okay, that might account for the lightness and the, the kind of sparkle and youthfulness of the olive oil. Do I sound like Jilly Goulden talking about wine? Sorry, my camera just died on me. <laughs> I think the, the card was full. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, apparently that isn't the case in this instance. The type of olive that they grow where they live in Aragon is called empeltre. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's very different from what we have here. To be honest, I couldn't tell you what the variety of our olives are. This particular olive, the empeltre olive, has as its characteristics a very smooth, sweet, light flavor and a golden color and they've nailed that one because that's exactly what that olive oil is like and uh, it's delicious so head over to their website and have a look and uh, they have a blog they have a uh, lots of information uh, about what they're doing and as it says on the website you can go and visit planning your next adventure head to Spain okay right well if you're up to here with olive oil I promise you the next video will not be about the olives
You can put vinegar in it if you like, or you can put the vinegar on this your is plate. It. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's you pleasant. Mm. You like that? Mm-hmm.